guys, my name is Kendra. And I'm Mary, and I have a really cool story. Can I tell you? Yes, I love stories. Okay, so this past weekend I was able to see my mom, and I love my mom, and she gifted me with this gift that was warm and fuzzy and so nice to cuddle with. It was a blanket. I love blankets. I know, but so the cool thing was about the story is that I loved it so much that I brought it into church to show all my friends. Oh, that sounds wonderful. But the bad part of the story is I lost it at church. Oh, man. What a bummer. Yeah. Well, I have a story, too. Can I tell you? Yeah, I'd love to hear Well, this week I was wandering around the office, and sometimes it gets really cold here. And mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, man, I'm so cold. And, and I looked on the couch, and I found this really awesome blanket, and it's pink and fluffy and oh so warm. It's it's my new favorite thing. Miss Kendra, that's my blanket that I lost. Um, well, not anymore because it's mine. Oh, Kendra, it's please. Mine now. You know, I love that blanket so, so much and care for it. Can I buy it back from you? I have money. I would love to pay to buy it. Uh, well, you know, since since you love it so much, yeah. and you care about it so much that you're willing to pay for it? Yeah. I guess so. <gasps> Thank you, Kendra. You're I'm so welcome. thankful for my blanket bag. You're welcome. And you know what? This whole thing with the blanket reminds me of our God statement for this week. What's our God statement, Kendra? Well, our God statement is God is Redeemer. Redeemer. Yeah, and the word redeem means to buy back. Like I bought back my blanket. Yeah, because you loved and cared for it so much, yeah. you were willing to buy it back from me. I can't wait to hear more about how God is Redeemer. Me too. But before we do, it's mm -hmm. time for worship. So let's all stand up on our feet. Friends, join us in worship today. Hey, good kids. It's time to worship. Everyone stand up and let's dance together.
Welcome back, friends. We hope you enjoyed worship today. And now it's time to dive in to the big God story. But before we do, let's kind of go back a little bit and remind ourselves of what today's God statement is. Mm, God. God is Redeemer. Yes. We're going to talk about what the word redeem means, and it means to buy something back. So just remember that as we move forward through yeah. today. So before we begin, we'd love to um, start with prayer. So if you can close your eyes and bow your heads, we'll pray and then we'll begin. Holy Spirit, we invite you into this place. God, we invite you to be teacher. Um, would you teach us more about how you are Redeemer? We love you and we praise you in your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Friends, today we are starting at the very beginning of the Big God story. We find that in the Bible, in the book of Genesis, which is the very first book of the Bible. On day one, we see that God created day and night. That's awesome. Scripture tells us that day two, God created the sky. Day three, when you read in Genesis, it says that God created the land, the water, and all the plants. Wow, he was busy that day. He was. Day four, we see that God created the sun and the moon oh. and the stars. All of the things in the sky. Day five, we read that God created the fish that swim in the sea and the birds that fly in the air. Wow. We see on the last day of creation, day six, that God creates animals to go on the land. But he doesn't just create animals. He creates Adam and eventually Eve to take care of all of his creation. Wow. And Adam and Eve were in the garden that God had created. Mm -hmm. On the seventh day, Genesis says that God looked over all he had made and he saw that it was good. And then he rested. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that God rested. Mm -hmm. That kind of shows us the biblical importance of resting as well. It does. Well, the cool thing about God is he, he looked at all this, said it was good, loved it so much that he had a plan to care for the garden. That's right. So I have a question for you kids and for you, Kendra. Yeah. Is there anything in your life that you care so much about and love so much that you take mm. care of? You know, I do. I have a cat and her name is Lexi. She's so cuddly and fun and cute. I love her so much. And because I love her, I take care of her. So Mary, I feed her. I make sure she has water. Oh, good. I play with her so she can run around. And I brush her so she doesn't get super dirty. And I do all of this because I love her. Oh, I love hearing that. Like God, you care about your cat, yeah. so you take care of your cat. I do. Well, that's enough about Lexi. Mary, what happens next in the Big God story? That's a great question, Miss Kendra. Uh -huh. So God created his creation and asked Adam and Eve to trust him. And he said, please don't eat from the knowledge, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. But you know what they did? What? They disobeyed God and ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Oh, no. And because of their disobedience, sin entered the world. That's right. And when sin entered the world, Adam and Eve's perfect relationship with God was broken. And when we talk about this, we call it the fall. So to get this straight, so Adam and Eve were in a perfect relationship with God. Right. And they were taking care of the mm -hmm. garden, and God said, don't eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Correct. But Adam and Eve disobeyed, and they ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Uh -huh. So what happens because of that? Well, their relationship, their perfect relationship is now broken. Oh, they're no. separated, and there's nothing Adam and Eve can do to get that perfect relationship back. And in fact, they had to leave the beautiful garden God had created for them. Oh, so the perfect relationship is broken. Yeah. They disobeyed God. Mm -hmm. They're now not in a relationship with God because right. of that. And they had to leave the garden. They did. And there's nothing they can do. Right, nothing they can do. So what does God do to fix this? Well, that is where our God statement comes in for today. Remember we okay. talked about how redeem means to buy something back. Yeah. Well, God had a plan to redeem his good and perfect relationship with his people. He was going to buy that relationship back. Wow, does he do that, Kendra, with his son, Jesus Christ? He oh. does. God loved and cared for all his people so much that he sent his son, Jesus, to restore that broken relationship. 
Wow, Kendra, I am so thankful that we serve a God who loves us and cares for us so much. Me too. That he had a plan to redeem the broken relationship. Yep. And you know what's cool is that this rede redemption was not just for Adam and Eve, but really? it was for all people. That's right, it is for all people. And you know, the way that we can be in relationship with God is saying yes to making Jesus Lord of our life. I'm so grateful for what God did to redeem our relationship with Him, sending Jesus. And we hope and pray that you will make the decision to say yes for Jesus being the Lord of your life. Mm -hmm. Well, friends, it's time for us to go. But before we do, we want to send you out with a blessing. So hold your hands out like this as we bless you. New life, families, may you know that your Heavenly Father loves you. May you know that he loves and cares for you so much that he sent Jesus to be your redeemer and that the life that he offers is a free gift and all you have to do is say yes to him being the Lord of your life. So go in peace and we will see you next week. Bye.